In this video, we're going to calculate the slope of an indifference curve using two methods. Here's our utility function. We want to solve for the slope of the indifference curve when x equals 4 and y equals 25. Method 1 is we are going to calculate the marginal rate of substitution and take the negative result of that. So the marginal rate of substitution is going to be the marginal utility of good x divided by the marginal utility of good y and then we're just going to put a minus sign in front of that. So we get the marginal utility of good x by taking the partial derivative of this utility function with respect to good x and we get back to y to the one-half power. Next we get the marginal utility of good y which is a partial derivative of the utility function with respect to good y. So we bring this one-half down in front, so one-half times two is why the two is now missing. And then we subtract one from this exponent on the y term, leaves us with x times y raised to the minus one-half power. Plugging this into our slope formula, minus the marginal utility of good x in the numerator, marginal utility of good y in the denominator, and this will simplify very nicely to minus 2y divided by x. We can just take this y to the minus 1 half and move it into the numerator and we'll have y to the 1 half times y to the 1 half in the numerator which is just y. Alright, the next step is just to plug in our values for y and x. So y is 25 and x is 4 and we're going to get a slope of minus 12.5. So on the indifference curve where x equals 4 and y equals 25, the slope is minus 12.5. Method 2 is to calculate u, utility, at the bundle. So we're going to plug x equals 4 and y equals 25 into this utility function, and we see that u equals 40. The next step is we're going to take this utility function and we're going to solve it for y. So moving some things around here, dividing through by 2x, and now I'm going to square both sides to get rid of this y to the one-half power here. So now we square both sides. y equals u, u squared divided by 4x squared, squaring everything in the denominator. And now we're going to get the slope of this function. And the slope is just going to be a derivative. A derivative is a slope function. So taking the derivative of u squared divided by 4x squared, we're going to use the quotient rule here, so it's a little messy. But following the quotient rule, we'll end up with minus u squared divided by 2x cubed. Now we're just going to evaluate our u and x at uh, the values. We said utility was 40 at this bundle, and x is 4. And simplifying that, we get minus 12.5, the same answer as method 1. Let's do another example. Here's a different utility function. This is going to be a quasi-linear utility function. Uh, we want to solve for the indifference curve when x equals 4 and y equals 25. Following method 1, we're going to just do the negative of the marginal rate of substitution, the marginal utility of good x, here is just x to the minus one-half power. Marginal utility of good y is just 2. And now uh, doing minus the marginal utility of good x over the marginal utility of good y. Simplifying a little bit, moving this x to the minus one-half power into the denominator. And now evaluating x at 4, we get a slope here of minus one-fourth. So that's method one. Method two, calculate u at the bundle x equals 4 and y equals 25. The good news is with the quasi-linear utility function, we don't actually have to do that. We can skip this step, as you'll see why in a minute. So let's just move on to the next part of this method and just solve this equation for y. Solving the utility equation for y, now dividing through by 2. We got our y equation, and now let's take the, get the slope of this y equation by taking the derivative of it. So the slope is just a derivative of this function with respect to x. And doing that, bringing this 1 half down in front, that's why we got this minus 1 half down in front, and then subtracting 1 from that x exponent, 
moving that x to the minus one half down into the denominator and evaluating x at four, we get our same answers we did in method one. So the slope here again is minus one fourth. Uh, at x equals four, the slope of a quasi-linear utility function is the same regardless of the value of y. So if y was 10, if y was 100, so long x equals 4, the slope would be minus 1 fourth. And one way we can see that just mathematically, only the variable x enters the slope function. So the derivative is a slope function, and only variable x enters that function. So the slope function is just a function of x alone. y doesn't appear in the slope function. Utility, which is a function of x and y, doesn't appear in this slope function. Uh, when you take the derivative here of u divided by 2, that's just a constant. It drops out. So for any given value of x, any fixed value of x, the slope of a quasi-linear utility function is the same regardless of the value of y. This isn't true given our first utility function, that Cobb-Douglas utility function. That property doesn't hold. All right, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.